Hello everyone and greetings from sunny Sardinia. I'm currently on the roof terrace of our apartment rental and it is already such a gorgeous day and morning and we're just kind of getting ready to go to the beach but before we do I wanted to give you an update on our day four in Sardinia which is where we actually went on a boat tour to La Magdalena and some of the surrounding uh, islands of that archipelago. Um, I actually did some research on TripAdvisor and found this company called Linnea della Isole uh, Sea Star. I will leave their website link down below. I actually booked it directly through TripAdvisor but um, I think you also could probably easily book directly through them and I will tell you one good reason why to do this we didn't realize until we were on the boat that um, there is a difference if you're on like the red route versus the green route where you go and stop so um, one of the routes which is the green route stops actually uh, on the island of La Magdalena, so in the historic city center, whereas the red route, which is the one we ended up taking, ends at um, Isola de Caparera, which is um, basically uh, called Tahiti. So, um, you know, just something you might want to look into. I felt like the families with young kids probably on our boat were less excited about the last stop because it is deep water and you can't do much with the kids um, in the deep water. Um, for us, it wasn't really a big deal. Um, so the tour that we did, we took the boat out of Palau. Um, definitely get there early because it's um, it's a bit of a it's a bit of a process, and you don't want to be kind of rushing at the last minute um, to uh, to basically get on the boat. So when I say it's a process, so from Porto Rotondo, it was about a 50 minute drive up to Palau. And then uh, from there, the, um, the Sea Star company was really great with communication. They immediately found me on WhatsApp, sent me all of the instructions for the day. And yes, they were also printed on our kind of PDF form of our tickets, as well as emailed to us. But um, I guess for Americans, especially if you're watching this video, a lot of Americans don't use WhatsApp. So so uh, you might want to download WhatsApp for the trip because um, in general I found um, Italians prefer like a WhatsApp uh, style text message communication if they are not as confident in English which they always say that and then their English is wonderful but they're always like no 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 my English not so good I WhatsApp you so um, a lot of times like even with my host of this apartment rental um, they wanted to WhatsApp us versus uh, speak on the phone because um, they felt more comfortable and then when we met them their English is perfect. So um, So yeah, so anyways back to the tour
um, buoy divider line. And um, it was just wonderful to swim and enjoy the sea and that kind of aqua bright turquoise blue water. Magnificent. And then the final stop, as I kind of already spilled the beans in this video, um, is Isola de Caparera, which um, is actually a very famous spa, spa. They call it a natural aquarium of Caparera Calacoticcio. Um, and apparently it's called um, like Little Tahiti because A, the, um, the bright blue waters remind people of Tahiti, but there also just were so many schools of fish in the water. Um, I personally don't like deep water swimming, so I didn't want to jump off the boat and do uh, this experience but my friend did and had a wonderful time and one of the kind of staff on the boat was throwing in little bits of bread and you could see all the fish kind of dart for it um, so he was kind of uh, pranking my friend a little bit with throwing the bread near her a lot so she got to experience the fish up close. Um, I would absolutely recommend this as a day trip. It was super relaxing. Um, I didn't really get to experience much of the food on board. My friend bought the caprese salad with tomato and mozzarella, which was eight euros. And then I think they had steamed mussels um, for 10 euros. I chose to pack my own sandwich, like a prosciutto and mozzarella sandwich for the boat. Um, I did buy a packet of crisps and have a double espresso on the boat and bought a water. So that was uh, perfectly uh, fine. Uh, there is a toilet on board. Um, and yeah, just really good experience. I definitely would recommend it if you are coming to Sardinia and you want to see Sardinia by sea. Um, it definitely seemed appropriate for families as ki with kids as well. Um, the only thing I will caution is just a really long day. It's like over six hours on a boat. So, you know, we saw everything from, you know, younger children in nappies to slightly older children. Um, and the only thing that was less appropriate was that final stop on um, the little Tahiti because it probably wasn't so safe unless the kids were great swimmers. But overall, really enjoyed it. Um, would definitely do it again if I came to Sardinia. With that said, that wraps up my day trip to La Magdalena. I really hope you enjoyed our day on the boat, exploring the beautiful waters, beaches, and coastline of Sardinia. Everything will be linked down below as always. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. That really helps this video. Have you been on a boat tour of the La Magdalena Archipelago? Please leave your guides, your tour companies down below. Sharing is caring here on this channel. And if you liked this content, please consider subscribing. It's completely free and I would love for you to join me on this wonderful YouTube journey. I have so many more videos coming up um, in my Sardinia series as well, other, as well as other travel adventures. So thanks again for tuning in and I will see you soon.